Yo, what's up guys? It's Mali Reborn. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to make a video uh, about my settings uh, in Ironside. Uh, my display settings, audio settings, my mouse uh, settings. And how I uh, generally play the game. Um, after that, I want to show you guys an overview of my profile. So, my most used weapons and my stats and my KD and more stuff and as last I want to show you guys my uh, four or five favorite loadouts which I use the most in the game if I really want to go hard but before we get into that I wanted to discuss uh, some video ideas with you guys for in the future um, do you have any um, ideas what my next video should be about I'm planning to do a video about spawns uh, the spawn system in the game and some mechanic guides and how to snipe better in the game I uh, just need a few more detailed ideas if you have any uh, let me know in the comment section below and let's get into the video now let's start with my mouse settings I play on a 3.5 sensitivity with a 400 dpi and my sniper aka aim down sight sensitivity is at a 1. This is real low sensitivity um, as I can't even do a 360 with 60 centimeters of space on my mouse pad. I'm using a 9, 90 centimeter long mouse pad where my keyboard is on and I use two kind of mouses, mice. Mouses, oh wow. Uh, the one is the Logitech G305 wireless and the other one is the Glorious Model O. And I like to use them both in the game. Second one is my audio. I like to use the, I like to play with the music volume uh, around 20. Just for the sake of the video, I turned it all down. Uh, so it's not too loud when in game. As when a game is almost ending the music gets louder as well i just want to be able to focus on the game and the sfx volume so the footsteps and explosions and the bullets of the gun uh, i want to hear them all clear so i have them at the 100 and the voice is at 39 or 40. Uh, so when the announcer talks i won't be distracted as much as if it was at a 100. For my video settings, I play at 240 hertz, full screen, no v-sync, and my field of view is at 80, so I can see the enemies a little bit better. I don't limit my FPS, and I still have no idea what allied call signs do. If you do know, let me know in the comments, please, as I still can't figure it out. For my advanced um, pro settings of my videos, I use the texture and the filtering uh, texture quality and texture filtering at high uh, so my game looks uh, nice uh, the rest is or at low or deactivated so I get the most frames per second as possible and less drops of my frames those are my settings and the next up is my profile um, I have an average KDA of 2.22 balanced as all things should be and my most kills is a 112 my best kda is 36 um, both of these um, records are achieved in secure point i got the 112 kills in cloud 9 uh, with the uh, mp7 i think on uh, in secure point and the best kda was 36 i died once and got 36 kills i got a video of the 112 kills so you can go watch that gameplay if you want to i got a total of 454 hours in the game with over 4000 matches and i win 70 percent of them for my best weapons uh, or the most used weapons starting with the assault rifles is the g36c uh, almost 30 hours in it same for the k2c i lately don't really use this one anymore but i used to use it a lot and the M4, like in my last video, I showed it up. And the AUG, I'm starting to use it even more with all those people using smokes. But you will see my loadout soon. And my least used weapon is the M4, but that one does not count. I just can't get seem to get used to the OSW and the EMR. 
I do like the HK though, but I don't really use them that often. For the SMGs, there will be no surprises. My MP7, not mine, our MP7 is the favorite weapon in the game for me. I got almost 40 hours in it. And the LWRC45 is just a really strong submachine gun. Uh, I would advise you to use it. And my least favorite SMG is the Vector and the AR-57. I don't know why people think this weapon is so overpowered, but I just can't seem to get used to this. Why use this if you have the P90, you know? And the Vector, yeah, you just run out way too fast uh, of bullets. And I like my bullets so I can kill people. And the P90, I just have six hours in it, so I don't abuse the P90. Don't worry about it, guys. I do abuse the MP7, though. For the sniper rivals, I almost... Oh, I got over 40 hours in the DSR-1. It's my most used weapon in whole Ironside. I almost have over 10k kills with it. And has 60% accuracy with it, so I'm pretty good with it, I guess. I certainly do not use the LMGs a lot. My, my most used is the Ultimax, as it's just a Scar H with a little bit less mobility, but with 100 bullets. And the MG3 is really overpowered as well, as you can just hip fire and kill someone with it. It's really strong. I would advise you to use it and try it out. If you can handle the recoil, of course. But you can check my other video about the MG3 for it. Uh, let me see, for my loadouts. Let's start with my MP7 loadout. I use the silencer with extended mag and soft point bullet. And I don't need an optical sight for this weapon, as I can handle it pretty good without. I just can snipe with it. Secondary is change. Uh, right now, I'm trying to use the Desert Eagle and get used to it. But my favorite one is the PX4 Storm. It has a lot of bullets, like 13 of them. And you can shoot it really fast. Uh, my favorite skill setup is uh, quick reload, double time and quick recovery. This makes you just strafe a lot faster so you can stay on target and the enemy misses you a lot more with, the, with their shots. So you die less. My G36C class is a quick shot sight, so they're that sight with precision barrel. Uh, for more range, 3 shot kills or 4 shot kills. Same skill setup uh, on the uh, G36 with the MP7. I just like this weapon without a silencer. I don't know why, but it feels stronger without it. And the silencer does not take a lot of range out or the damage, but I still like it without the silencer. Uh, my DSR1 class setup, I always use the Viperscope with the straight pull, so I can shoot um, faster back to back and for my skills is I'm using quick aim double time and quick recovery um, most of the times I use quick reload if I go for clips so I have almost enough so I have always enough bullets in my magazine to shoot people and the reload takes a lot of time on the snipers so I like to use quick reload with it uh, quick switch doesn't work well with the DSR one. Uh, it works better with the blazer as the aim down sight time is just way too long to be able to abuse the mechanic. So I just mostly go for quick aim or uh, quick reload, one of the two. My anti-smoke using enemies weapon setup is the AUG with detecting sight and silencer. I use quick reload, double time and quick recovery with it. And this is just against those enemies that like to group up and use smokes and detecting sights and augs. I just need to a uh, way to counter them. Otherwise I won't be able to kill them or at least win the game. As they are most likely grouped with two other people and they all use smokes with detecting sights. So this is just to counter them to be able to carry the team. And my Bulldog Ultimax 100s, just the ultimate Ultimax 100 setup is with the silencer and the clear side. Uh, if I use a scope on my um, LMGs, I like to use the clear side if I don't need zoom, otherwise, the Viper scope, as the weapons do kick a lot, but the recoil is controllable. And I like to use quick switch as I have 100 bullets, I don't need to reload that often, so I like to switch to my SPAS so I can use it in close quarter combat. 
uh, with double time for the straving. And those are my weapons. And my favorite go hard uh, drone setup is the blade drone with Halbert and Firefly. Uh, this allows me to carry every game as long as I uh, as long as they don't take my Halbert down within two seconds. And if I just try to go for a high KD, I will use the spy drone, jammer drone, not the loss, but the UAV recon. So I see the enemies on my minimap. Um, you can s watch how I use the minimap on the last episode of How to Play Ironside, part three, uh, where I show you how I use the minimap. So go check that out as well. And that's it for today, guys. Uh, let me know any video ideas in the comment section. And if you want to uh, learn more, let me know. And thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did and you're new, subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave a like for the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.